Hey guys, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here. I literally just got back from Vegas like two days ago. Had a vacation out there for a while. It was a blast. Saw some shows, ate some cool food. Be watching for those videos on Jack and the Go, okay? We're going to be showing you the Las Vegas trip, all right? You guys ready? We're going to be doing this. Uh, you know, I, I looked at it and I thought, this is very easy. Um, it's called Chicken Taco Dip. And I looked at it and it was simple. But then I read the comments. It's delicious. I make it every time. It's first thing to go. And I'm thinking, okay, we just got to give it some attention. So we're going to try this recipe out, see how it is. Is it a good chicken taco dip or will we never make it again? All right, come on in close and I'll show you the ingredients. All right, let's see what we got here. Got some chicken, any chicken, boneless chicken breast, chicken legs, just uh, you're going to cook it and tear the meat off, okay? So you got the chicken, which we'll cook in a minute. Colby Jack, uh, one rel bell I'm using one of these bell peppers in the dish. I'll probably use the red one. Uh, green onions, cilantro, Tammy loves, of course. Filling up your cream cheese and a packet of taco seasoning, and that's it. So let's cook the chicken and then come on back here, all right? You're going to cook the chicken. You're going to cube it up about two pounds. Recipe's down below. And then we will go to the next step. Okay, get yourself like a little microwave, microwavable little kind of casserole. But we're gonna bake this. So, but we're gonna microwave it first. So make sure it's microwave safe, okay? Grab your cream cheese, drop it in there. You can use a knife or a fork or just cube this up. There you go. There we go. All right, now grab your taco mix. Get your taco mix seasoning. Put it all over the cheese. Okay. We're gonna microwave this for 60 seconds. And bring it right back. Okay, next thing you're going to want to do is put half the cilantro in here. Half the onions in here. There we go. I'm going to mix this all up. Alright guys, we're going to take uh, part of the cheese. About half of it. Put it in here. There we go. Okay. Dump your red peppers in here. Make sure you got it all in there. And then we're gonna need uh, some sour cream. Okay, add your sour cream in here. Get that all mixed together. Hi right, guys, put your chicken in there. There we go. Get that all. I'm just mixing it all up. Get it all mixed in. Spread that out. Looking good. Take a look at this. That looks good. I should have diced everything finer, but I don't mind. A little chunky. It's all good. All right, here we go. Take the remaining part of the cheese. We're going to spread it out. Okay, it says to cover with aluminum foil. You can do that, but I'm going to use the dish top. It's got a lid already on it. Like that. 13 to 15 minutes we're going to bake it. And see how it comes out, alright? Get this inside right now. Alright, I uncovered it. That's what it looks like. 
It's beautiful. So now we're gonna let that cool a little bit. I'm gonna add some some garnishes. I want it to be hot when I add the garnishes. I don't know why. It's just a preference. So we're gonna give it a little greenery so that it can cool into the cheese, become part of the dish. There we go. Spread it around. There we go. Put it back in. That looks good. Not too much now. I don't want to look like a garden. All right, I'm going to go get some chips. No, I'm not getting regular chips. Probably some Profile by Sanford chips. All right, once again, I was going to do Profile chips, but they're too tiny, so I didn't want them breaking off. It's going to take a strong, like a... Um, Kind of like a chicharrone from the store. So let's see. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so how would I improve this? I'd cut the chicken into smaller pieces. Tastes really good. I'd cut the chicken into tiny, tiny cubes, okay? I'd also cut the bell peppers into tiny, tiny cubes. And I'd probably use like Rattel or kind of a nacho cheese kind of thing. This is doing really good, but it's hard because when you go through this, your chip wants to break. But it's good. Make those tweaks and you're going to love it, all right? Cut everything really small, small pieces, okay? And use like a nacho cheese or a Rattel or something like that or Belbita. Don't use regular cheese because it gets too thick and too hard on the surface, all right? I love you guys. This is mm, berry taco-y. Is that a word? This is called chicken taco dip. I love you guys. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.